how to create a custom navigation menu in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can elevate your navigation menu on Shopify because we don't want a navigation menu that says catalog and then it just leads people to your product. You want something that is highly organized, has sub items and can be a great way for your audience to view your products. So we're going to build our own navigation menu. First, I'm going to show you guys how to customize the appearance. Then we're going to move towards actually building our navigation menu. So let's get started. First off, you want to go into your Shopify dashboard, then click on customize. Once you click on customize, you will be led to the Shopify store editor. Once you are in the Shopify store editor, you can click on your header over here. Once you click on your header, you can choose how you want to structure it. So if you want your logo to be at the middle center, top center, middle left, or the top left, this is up to your personal preference. You also have an announcement bar. I don't like this, so I'm going to delete that. And after that, you will see once you click on the header section, you have different options such as the type of menu you want. So if you want your navigation menu to be tucked away in a corner, where people have to click on it and then it opens up the menu, you can choose a drawer menu, which allows people to click on this icon and then the menu shows up. If you want a direct menu, you can choose this one over here. Then after that, you have your header type. So the header allows people to have access to your menu. And there are a few types of headers. Either you can choose the always showing header, which means that the header scrolls down with the page. Then the secondary type is always, but reduce the logo size. This usually just takes the header and just makes it slightly smaller by taking the logo and reducing the size. And the next one is on scroll up, which is my preferred method, which means that the header disappears when people are scrolling down. But when they scroll back up, it reappears. This gives people easy access to the navigation menu without having to constantly scroll back to the top to access your navigation. Then after that, you also have your color scheme. So this color scheme is specifically for your header, which is going to alter the color of all of the sections. But if you go into your menu color scheme and edit that, so you can alter that as well. And you can select that as your uh, color scheme for this. So you can click on change and select color scheme three for your header. This will only edit the colors for the header. You can build your own color schemes as well. This just goes for your personal preference, how you want to color or how you want to present your website. Now, once you have set all these up, you can scroll down and also customize the mobile layout and then click on save on the top right. Now let's actually build our navigation. So we're going to exit and we're going to go into navigation on the left. Once we go into navigation under online store, you're going to click on main menu and this is the menu that is displayed on your storefront. So I'm going to delete all these menu items, but I'm going to keep the home page one because I'm going to add that back anyways. After that, I can click on add menu items and I want to list my collections. So currently I haven't structured my collections or I'll use the other store as an example. So we're gonna choose that one because I have structured some collections in there. So we're gonna go into online store on the left, then click on navigation. Then I'm going to click on add menu and I'll create a new menu, which is going to be my tutorial menu. And then after that, I'm gonna click on add menu item. First, I'm going to add the home page. Then I don't want my you know products to be displayed in on one page fits all section. So I want different collections to be displayed in the navigation menu. So I'm going to click on collections. And once I do that, I am firstly going to select one collection called clothing. And I want to go into collections and then I'll select my clothing collections and add that. Then within that, I have two separate categories or subcategories. So I'm going to click on collections and select the dresses and I'll add those. And then after that, I also have t-shirts. Now, even though dresses and t-shirts are now in the navigation, I want them to appear as a dropdown. So to create a dropdown or a sub page, simply hold the navigation menu item and move it towards the right. Then I'm going to move t-shirts up and now we have two sub menu items. 
Once you've done that, you can click on add menu item and add your next item. So let's say that I want to add a page for our policies, terms of service. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and add another collection, which is going to be our all product. So I'm going to name it all products like this and then i'm going to go into collections on the left and then click on all collections so all of the product collections would be displayed and then i'm going to move this towards the top like so because i want this to be present right after the home page in case anyone just wants to browse all our products together and then after that let's say i want to display my accessories so i would add that particular tab over here and if you want, if you want to create one um, larger category of women's items, then you can create these as subcategories. So I can move the clothing as a sub page of all products. And even within the sub page, we have two sub pages. Then I would move accessories to the same level as clothing like this to make it easier to structure like so. Then click on save menu. And once this has been saved, you're going to go back into online store on the top left. Once you go back into online store, click on customize over here. And once you click on customize, you are going to go into your header. And then once you go into your header, you are going to click on your menu. You will see the menu option. Click on change and click on change menu. Select the newly created menu. And then once you do that, click on save. And just like that, our menu has now been altered. So let's open up our store and what it looks like. So this is what the um, menu bar currently looks like. I can filter out dresses. I can go into t-shirts and then accessories like so. Now, one thing I always recommend that you guys add to your navigation menus in Shopify is the Shopify search and discovery application. To add that, just go into navigation on the left and you will see uh, right under your menus, you have the filters option, which is the Shopify search and discovery. Just click on install and then click on open. Once you do, you will be able to set up search and discovery. This just makes it easier for your customers to be able to filter through products that they actually want to search for or they actually want to purchase. So you can click on customize filters and build your own filters. So you can add filters. So let's say I want a filter based upon color and we can add different color values and assign these color values to products to help customers find their required product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.